It's the most famous birth of all time. Every year we celebrate a natural birth, this well-known story about a birth that takes place around animals in a stable. What draws me to want to recreate, to reimagine the birth of Jesus is, well, this is the ultimate birth undisturbed. And for me, a perfect visual opportunity to use universally recognisable characters that make instant connection to most people, whether they're religious or not. What I'm trying to do is retell the nativity in a way that offers something to the birth dialogue. Something I can't find anywhere in looking at depictions of the nativity is a moment of actually giving birth to Christ. Legitimate art that shows the actual birthing rather than the after moment. A nativity scene that has Mary in ecstasy and power of giving birth and being in a stable, if anything, would help further fuel her primal mode. There's no one telling her to get on her back or how many breaths to take. I myself have a Roman Catholic upbringing these days I'm not so religious, but the Bible holds this fond childhood root of influence for me. So I looked through many artistic interpretations of the nativity through centuries of art to try and fathom what kind of scene I want to create. It's fascinating to see the diversity aesthetically of how artists through the ages have portrayed the birth of Jesus. What I was particularly interested to research was what have been the most subversive images of the nativity. One of the most raw images I could find was a painting from 1891 by Julius Garibaldi, which goes away from the classical triumphant angels and seraphims, and instead showing Mary and Joseph slumped in exhaustion, the anxiety, the upheaval of labour and delivery gives a more human realism to birth. I find this subversion fascinating, but I want to go further with subversion. <laughs> at a stable in Tuscany. So we have a donkey, we have a cow, and I'd like to get them both in, if possible. Maybe a chicken, goose, bird, whatever. Don't want to go overboard, don't want to be like Noah's Ark. <laughs> Marta is a model who's playing Mary. Well, Marta has that kind of Mary look. Italian, olive skin, dark features. But also what's really important is she's expressive. I shot with her years ago where I discovered her plucky, energetic confidence. She had this screaming face in one of my fashion pictures. Now the days come where the screaming face energy is exactly what I want and need for this. The wide open mouth is a very important motif, as many women will know. When you give birth, your mouth opens wider than you ever knew it could open. I want you to be the most powerful bit in the picture, almost like the picture that I showed you in the first in the series we shot with Gina. We're going back to that kind of feral look. I'm not making any statement that is anti or pro-Christianity here, nor to take any limelight away from Jesus himself necessarily, just making my own artistic interpretation. I want to show what's never shown in a nativity scene, the divine feminine power that brings Jesus to earth. Adding in birth realism of blood, birth energy, but also to rein in a little, because at the same time I want to tread carefully and do just enough to make the scene believable. I don't want to unnecessarily offend religious friends. Thumbs up. We all know the reality of biology, where Jesus came from. The design of birth and women's power in delivering a new life is the least offensive thing of all. It was a completely new experience for me. Just one expression, you had to drive a whole story. I am not a mother myself yet. I can say I'm looking forward to give birth after this experience. It was a very beautiful. Part of the plan of coming to Tuscany was that we had to find a Joseph here. When we were scouting the location, we happened to find the Joseph there. The biblical look of dreams, really. I just hoped that he would say yes, and he did, to our very strange request of being in a birth photo. Being um, the main one catching him. So you, your hand's gonna be here. You get right in there and get holding Jesus. So I'm gonna come in with some more KY jelly. So we've got the strobe outside with a full CTO. So we're firing through the blinds there to give us a nice interesting effect. I always get that moment of anxiety. Well, I get many moments of anxiety through the actual shoot. And then afterwards, I think I actually got it. I look at the computer and I go through the pictures and I get that moment where I feel, yes, I've got it. 